Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. Today I'm going to show you how to use fabric on a card like this and how I got the dimension in the fabric here and how I use the fabric as a background like a piece of designer series paper. So to get started we are going to start with the fabric. We have our square cardstock and then our adhesive sheets. They come 12 by 12 and I believe there's 12 in the pack. Now we're going to start by peeling off the paper. If I can get it to peel. Sometimes it's a little easier said than done. Okay, and then we're going to stick it to our piece of Whisper White Square. Now, well, the color cardstock that I use to put on the back of the fabric, I usually try to use the color that's in the fabric. So there's quite a bit of white, so that's why I went with the white. Now you're going to take your bone folder and just make sure that it's good and stuck down. And then you're going to peel off that paper layer. Take the fabric and stick that to the square. Take the bone folder and just make sure that that gets stuck down really good. Now I like to use cardstock with the fabric when I'm going to make it on a card just because it makes it stiffer for me. So now this is ready for my card. I have two flowers that I did the same thing. I stuck it to the cardstock just like I showed you and then I ran it through the Big Shot to make these two um, flowers. Now the front of my card I ran through the Big Shot with a framelit to get the cutout here. Now my card base is red real red. This white piece goes on the inside. Now on this piece here, I'm going to use the curly, I think it's curly label, I'm not sure. Happy birthday and the real red ink. And I'm going to ink that up and stamp that across the bottom. Like so. And if I didn't like it, I could flip it over and do it on this side. So stamp first. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my adhesive and I'm going to apply adhesive all the way around my flower image here. And then I'm going to take my fabric square and I'm just going to make sure that it goes all the way around. So now I just backed up my flower with the fabric square, using, making it like uh, designer series paper. And now I can go ahead and attach this to the front of my card. The reason, another reason I like to put cardstock on the back of my fabric is because now it will stick better to my card. Cardstock sticks to cardstock better than fabric sticks to cardstock. So I have that there. Now I have these two flowers. Um, Dean, I forgot, I need a scissors and dimensionals, those little foam pop-up things. Thank you. So now the bottom flower, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stick a dimensional in the middle of that. And that's going to go in the center there. And then on this one, what I'm going to do is on the petals, I'm going to cut up all the way around. And it doesn't have, you don't have to go very far up because you don't want to cut your petals out, but you just want to come up a little ways. 
And then you can either take your bone folder and fold them out because it's got cardstock on the back. It's gonna up, it's gonna stay however you put it because it, it gives it that stiffness. So you can play with it as much as you like. Crunch it up, crunch those up. Then you're going to put a dimensional in the back and. I kind of turn it just a little bit and then I have our brights button and I tied some of the white um, Baker's twine and I'm going to just get a couple of glue, glue dots on the back and put my button in the center, trim up the ends there and then you can, you can play with your petals a little bit crunch them, give it some more dimension, whoops, but that's a fun way to use your fabric with the flowers and get some dimension there. So there you have your technique for today with the fabric, 50% off until Sunday, thanks for stopping by.